Welcome to the Zeldrin Starport. Due to increased security, thermonuclear warheads and nail clippers are no longer permitted as carry-on baggage. Flux Rifle is an excellent weapon for sniping. To enter sniper mode, equip the Flux Rifle and press. To best avoid execution, please have your ID and three forms of ID visible at all times. Jackpot crate multiplies all bolts and experience gained for a limited time. Carry on weapons that are too bulky to fix the must be checked as well.
report is strictly forbidden. Violators will be disintegrated and fined. Security breach by concourse level. All units respond. We agreed to put that jungle business behind us. <laughs> it was mating season. How could I have known she was your sister? Uh, <laughs> uh, how long have you two been standing there? Too long. Well, <clears throat> stop lollygagging and let's get to work. We'll use this shuttle to infiltrate the Star Cruiser undetected. Once on board, we find Nefarious and finish the job. Are you fellas ready? Shotgun. Ah. Hey, what are you doing? Move over. I'll try. Uh, no thanks. I'd rather make it there in one piece. Stand down, soldier. This is your captain speaking. Captain, my... <laughs> Wait! No! Don't sit on the flight stick! Ah. It's too quiet. I don't like it. Once again, my brilliant plan has cut the enemy completely unawares. <laughs> Message received. What's that, Clank? Nothing. We'll have to split up and search the ship. Just remember, Nefarious is mine. Unless we get to him first. Come on, Clank. Let's get some payback for Skid.
expecting you. The riffraff have arrived, sir. Captain Quark, you've put on a bit of weight since last we met. Yeah, well, Courtney Gears didn't seem to mind. <laughs> That's what makes it so good, Janice. Feel it. My heart is pounding like an anvil. Oh, this is the best part of my day. Lured you here so I could witness your demise. <laughs> Auto destruct sequence initiated. Prepare to die. <laughs> Lawrence, teleport us out of here. Of course. Lawrence? This isn't funny, Lawrence! What are you waiting for? This ship could explode any second. I think I spotted something important. I can't leave without it. I'll meet you back at the shuttle. Must leave now. <laughs> Not without Cork. You would have waited for us. I think. Good for him. Wait! Well, we are all very glad that you made it back safely. Did you detect any other craft leaving the Star Cruiser? Uh, an escape pod? Uh, another shuttle, maybe? Anything? I'm sorry, Ratchet. We heard the whole thing over the comm link. You had no choice. Captain Quark died a hero. <laughs> And we would frolic in the fitness course under the wee hours of the morning. <laughs> Captain Quark had so many, um, uh, wonderful qualities, I just don't know where to begin. Such as? Oh, uh, okay, uh, he was really tall, and, uh, and he had a unique fashion sense, and he had a really big chin with uh, kind of a sort of a, well, you know, a butt shape. Uh, uh, well, you know, I, I think I've droned on long enough. I just heard what happened. I wanted to offer my condolences to the team. Quark's loss is a true tragedy. The man was a hero, brave, honest, kind, and humble to the core. <laughs> what a load of bullshit. Captain Quark may be gone, but his indomitable spirit of heroism lives on in each of you. I know the Q-Force will make our fallen captain proud. Carry on, men. The fifth came in the mail for Quark. <laughs> it's chapter four of the Quark Vid comic series. <laughs> He'd want you to have it. Thanks, Al. You know, this could give us a clue about what Nefarious is going to do next. <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> I heard somebody has the latest vid comic in the Quark vs. Nefarious series. Would that somebody hurry up and finish it already? Excuse me, could somebody make sure that there's coffee brewing in the cafeteria? I'm very disappointed. Quark, comic episode two, Ariba Amoeba. A new evil was gathering in the shadowy swamps of Blackwater City. A horrific breed of monsters known as Amoeboids, born in the laboratories of a twisted scientist named Dr. Nefarious. To think they called me insane, Lawrence. We'll see who's insane when my pets have exterminated all life on this miserable planet! Well, that should clear things right up, sir. When Captain Quark encountered the Amoeboids for the first time, he immediately executed emergency response plan number two. Hey, wait just a minute. Quark then proceeded to stall for time while he coordinated the city's defenses from the women's restroom at Galaxy Burger. Give me that thing, you lying no good. Oof. Right. Now, where were we? From the moment I touched down, I knew the situation called for a head-on assault. Without hesitation, I rushed to do heroic battle with the monstrous amoeboid horde. All right, now for the fancy stuff. Press X while I'm in the air near a wall to see my awesome wall kick move. Barbecue time! Press circle to fire my blaster. Hold down R1 and move the left analog stick for precision aiming. Oh, my God. 
His amoeboid army defeated, Dr. Nefarious had no choice but to flee Blackwater City in disgrace. You've not seen the last of me! I will have my vengeance if it takes a thousand years! <laughs> Dr. Nefarious was right about one thing. He and Quark would meet again, and sooner than he realized. For a true hero like Captain Quark will stop at nothing in the name of justice. <laughs> what? I held my breath! Episode 3, Shadow of the Robot. For six days, Captain Quark clung to the ship like the dung of a giant green space bird. Finally, the ship arrived at its destination, a secret robotic laboratory on planet Magmos. Drawing on his mastery of the ancient art of disguise, Quark slipped into the laboratory completely undetected. Somebody... <coughs> Somebody will die pizza? Quark's plan was flawless. But unbeknownst to our hero, his every move was being watched. The famous Captain Quark couldn't possibly be this stupid, could he? Even drooling imbeciles can achieve success in certain fields, sir. Mad science, for example. Shall I have him annihilated, then? Let him come to us. I'll have a special surprise waiting for him. <laughs> Blaster. Hold down R1 and move the left analog stick for precision aiming.
It's over, Nefarious. Never! I am the greatest genius the galaxy has ever known! You're no match for the likes of me! <laughs> That's rich. I used to beat up geeks like you in high school. I'll bet your prom date came in a box that said batteries not included. Say, come to think of it, we've met before, haven't we? No! Uh, no, of course not. Mr. Bozell's ninth grade biology class! Uh, I always hated biology! That's right, you were that freak with the headgear. Remember how he used to clean the chalkboard with your pants <laughs> while you were still wearing them? Oh, good times. You were three times my size, you stupid old. I was always big for my age. You were 26. Say, how about a wedgie for old times' sake? Quiet! I think it's safe to say we've seen the last of Dr. Nefarious. Time to celebrate another job well done. But the danger was far from over. For in defeating one menace to the galaxy, Quark had created another, even more terrifying evil. Episode 4, Deja Q, all over again. After defeating Dr. Nefarious on planet Magmos, Quark returned to his condo in Metropolis for some well-earned R&R. I'm you knew the truth. The baby isn't yours. What? Who? Who is the father? Oh, your evil twin brother, Engelbert. But Janice, I am Engelbert. Ooh, must be that pizza I ordered. Good pug, Captain Flabby. Uh, Helga, what are you doing here? Getting you off your lazy butt. You have plumped up like a giant green breakfast. <laughs> it is time for the fitness course. Oh, oh, all right. Meanwhile, on a rooftop high above the bustling streets of Metropolis. The hour of my vengeance is at hand. Go now, my robotic servants. Tear this city apart! Bring me the head of Captain Quark! <laughs> these things work again? Oh, I remember. Just press up or down. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sorry. What's that, Stumpy? This isn't over, Quark. I swear. I will return someday to destroy you and bring Metropolis to its knees! Uh-huh. Just a word of advice, Nefarious. Quit while you're ahead. And so Quark believed that the threat posed to the galaxy had been ended forever. But... Uh. Seems the script is missing a few pages. <clears throat> Thanks, Professor. I'll take it from here. And so ends the greatest tale of courage and heroism ever told. The true story of Captain Quark's triumph over the nefarious supervillain known as, uh, well, Dr. Nefarious. Aren't you gonna unlock Quark's secret costumes? Here, I'll use the cheat codes. Let's see, up, up. Down, down, left, right, circle, square, square. <laughs> Even a tutu! Metropolis! That's where Nefarious is gonna strike first. Are you sure? It makes perfect sense. Nefarious tried to destroy Metropolis years ago, but Quark stopped him. Nefarious swore he'd come back and finish the job someday. Now that he has a secret weapon, he's ready to make his move. Set a course for Metropolis. Let's hope we're not too late. Thank <laughs> you.